AI and fantasy football, and a look at generative AI tools being used by criminals, all on this episode of IBM Tech Now. What's up, y'all? My name is Ian, and I am back, bringing you the latest and greatest news and announcements about IBM technology. The NFL season is in full swing, and if you're one of the estimated 60 million Americans who play fantasy football, you're likely spending a lot of time poring over stats and stories to find that edge. And if you're one of the many like me whose fantasy team is struggling, you could probably use a little help. Luckily for you, IBM partners with ESPN Fantasy Football to use AI models built with Watson X to provide 11 million fantasy managers with a data-rich, AI-infused experience that transcends traditional statistics. The AI models built with Watson X ingest and analyze millions of news stories, opinion pieces by fantasy experts, and reports on player injuries. The models are expected to produce more than 48 billion insights for fantasy managers this year, including recommending trade opportunities and identifying waiver wire players. Two key types of player insights are now integrated into the ESPN Fantasy Football app, waiver grades and trade grades. Using neural networks and advanced natural language processing, waiver grades give a personalized rating for the value a player would add to your team. This nuanced algorithm delves deep into your roster to make realistic projections based on your team's fluctuating strengths and weaknesses. Trade grades are another new feature that helps managers assess the value of potential trades. When managers initiate transactions with each other, the AI models serve up trade insights, featuring a grade for each athlete involved in the trade and a grade for the trade's overall value. Managers can also use the AI models to analyze structured and unstructured data to compare players, estimate the potential upside and downside of starting a particular player, and assess the impact of an injury. To learn more and start leading your fantasy team on the journey to the playoffs, check out the link in the description of this video. Next up, generative AI chatbots like ChatGBT that are based on large language models, or LLMs, took the world by storm this year. Unfortunately, malicious hackers moved quickly to exploit these new AI resources, using ChatGPT itself to polish and produce phishing emails. Now, luckily, mainstream LLMs have guardrails to prevent their use for scams and criminality. But cyber criminals are a resourceful bunch, and a range of AI tools designed specifically for malicious cyber attacks have begun to emerge. Right now, the leading brand is called WormGPT. It's an AI module based on the GPTJ language model and is already being used in business email compromise attacks and for other nefarious uses. Until now, the most common way for people to identify fraudulent phishing emails was by their suspicious wording and grammatical errors. But now users can simply type in instructions for the creation of fraud emails. For example, they could input, write an email coming from a bank that's designed to trick the recipient into giving up their login credentials. The tool then produces a unique, well-written, and usually grammatically perfect email that's far more convincing than what most attackers would write on their own. In general, these generative AI tools are used for boosting three aspects of cyber attacks. Phishing, researching intelligence about potential victims, and writing code. These tools are still in their nascent stages, and the threat they represent is still fairly minimal, but the rise of malicious LLMs represents a new arms race between AI that attacks and AI that defends. To learn more, hit the link below. Thanks so much for joining me today for this episode of IBM Tech Now. If you're interested in learning more about the topics I've covered, make sure you explore the links in the description of this video. And again, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on what's going on in tech now.